you got to take us through what happened, Leo. Well, thank you very much for having me, Stuart. And also, thank congratulations on your assignment as moderator for next week's debate. I look forward to watching you, you. And, and basically shaking your hand and buying you a cup of coffee. Done. Uh, Stuart, uh, crime is out of control here in Los Angeles and in California. And what happened simply was I went to a Starbucks, which I normally do in the morning, and basically as I walked in, waiting in line, there's a, a guy walks in and just starts stealing, and he's within two inches of me. And people are just watching this happen as if it's normal. I couldn't let it happen. So I grabbed the bag, took the bag from him, and I said, hey, you can't steal. He says, I got to eat. I said, I'm going to call the police. He says, they're not going to show up. So I grabbed the bag, he left, and the customer, the employee said, this happens every day. We can't do anything about it. One final point, Stuart, the law enforcement says, we're told to stand down. So that, 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 that criminal is absolutely right. There is no support from law enforcement because they're told by the Democratic Socialist politicians to stand down. Were you a little worried that uh, taking the bag off the guy and saying you can't do that? I mean, he could have reacted against you. He could have been armed. He could have carried a gun. You know what, Stuart? You're absolutely right. But here's the problem. I couldn't sit there as an American and just let this happen. It was something inside of me made me angry, made me upset. I realized I believe in law and order and to normalize crime. I couldn't let it happen. And so emotionally, I was angry. And that's why I took the action. And personally, I feel good about what I did. Suppose that one of the staff at the Starbucks had done the same thing that you did, stopped the theft. That person could be in trouble. Am I right? You're 100% correct. In fact, Stuart, what was amazing was everyone, the employees, the customers, they were actually looking at it and nothing was happening. I was the one yelling, arguing with this crook, this criminal, and the employees were just going on with their business. They cannot get involved because they will lose their job. This is ridiculous. I'm going to move on. A, a related subject, Leo. Hold on. Uh, 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 Sacramento County is suing the city of Sacramento over its tent cities. Is this the first move to get those tent cities out of California cities? Uh, no. I, you know, here's the, I, I applaud the district attorney for filing this lawsuit. But I've been a lawyer for 30 years, Stuart. That lawsuit's going nowhere because it's discretionary by the city of Sacramento to allow this to happen. Again, in that situation, the police officers cannot issue citations and move them out because they're told not to enforce the law. And this district attorney, even though his heart is in the right place, that lawsuit's going nowhere. The Democrats want homelessness. They, this is how they raise money. They encourage this type of lifestyle and normalizing homelessness in California. Everybody in this studio is just shaking their heads, Leo, and thanking you yeah. for being the hero that you are, standing up as an American. Leo, I don't care what they say. I think you're a good man, <laughs> and we hope to see you in New York I'm gonna soon. Buy you okay. a I'm going to buy you a cup of coffee next week. It's a deal, baby. It's a deal. See you later. Thanks a lot. <laughs>